Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna go over my newly acquired 300 Blackout pistol I got here. Um, I just picked this up last week. Was just going to one of my local gun ranges and kind of looking at, I was looking at a 300 Blackout, blackout uh, setup and was leaning towards a SIG Rattler or a MPX with a 300 Blackout barrel and they just so happened to have this Noveski uh, 300 blackout on their shelves. I guess they had ordered it for somebody and that, that guy uh, backed out and I really couldn't pass it up. I mean, uh, Noveski's, I, I've, I'm, I've never seen one in on a shelf at a gun, sh gun shop before and they're somewhat hard to get a hold of even online. So never had one. I contemplated the two, um, probably stood there for an hour just thinking over the uh w which one i was wanting to go with and i ended up going with the noveski obviously um so i just wanted to go over some of the features of it there's not a whole lot of uh videos on uh this particular gun really many noveski videos at all so i just wanted to go over it this is called the ghetto blaster uh it's actually a pretty low serial number which i was surprised um i mean it's under 200 so i don't know how many they've made of these i know they came out with the ghetto blaster a year or two ago originally and i guess i got some flack or some police departments wanted to purchase the gun but uh couldn't have it be named the ghetto blaster so they came reintroduced it as the n4 uh gen 4 n4 pw and then reintroduced the ghetto blaster also so this is uh just under an eight inch barrel 300 blackout uh it, it kind of a collaboration or somewhat of a collaboration with q um uh, with their cherry bomb muzzle device for their suppressors and then also this is also q's brace it says q on the back probably probably can't see that uh and the sbrs come with q's stock which is this exact um stock but just a little bit shorter overall or a um length here with just a regular butt, butt pad so this is uh, in there i think it's they call it sniper gray uh and stock it comes with i'll take this this is a loaded mag so we aren't we aren't loaded um stock it comes with a geisley sde trigger i believe it is awesome trigger i've never never experienced it but it's uh I think after you get through your first pull, it's a two-stage trigger. This after you get through the first stage, it's a um, just like over one pound pull, so three three and a half pound pull overall. So awesome trigger out of the box. Uh, comes with uh, Noveski branded Geisley charging handle. Super, uh, they call it the super badass. Uh, I think it's just I forget what Geisley calls it. Uh, and then we have a Magpul uh, ambidextrous, I believe this is it's a 60 or 70 degree throw um, selector lever. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's polymer, which is different than what I've experienced before, but I'm, I'm, grow I'm growing to like it. It kind of seems like it's uh, a radiant knockoff the way it's shaped, but it, it actually, um, it actually feels kind of nice after I've been messing with it a little bit. Uh, and then we got, comes with the Magpul Pro backup iron sights, which are actually the metal ones. So these are actually they're pretty nice. Um, I haven't had a set of these either, but I do like them. Uh, and then it came with a uh, Magpul K2 grip. I switched it out for a Reptilia grip. It's just a little bit, a uh, little bit shorter package that's why i have this 20 round mag it's kind of how i'm rolling with it uh just with the setup itself it shrinks everything down just a little bit i mean this is small to begin with so i'm trying to keep it as small as possible uh, and then this this brace is a two position brace which is different than the honey badger because this is a similar brace stocks setup that q uses on their honey badger but for whatever reason I guess Noveski was requesting a, a two position uh, system rather than just the one. I think the one on uh, 
on, honey, on the honey badger is the farthest uh, farthest length of pole, which I'm glad Noveski went with the two position because I, I honestly like the first, uh, or technically it's three position, but I honestly like the first uh, length better than the all the way extended one. So I think other than that, it's, it's all it comes with. I've added the this uh, Cloud Defensive Owl, which you've seen on a, another rifle of mine. I just switched it over here uh, just to see how I like it. I like it. Uh, it, it. It's an awesome light. I'm not sure if I'll keep it on here. I tried out just throwing a X300U on, uh, but I, I like this interface better. So I might end up getting another one of these or uh, another uh, tape switch style setup in the future. Uh, but if, right now it's going to live on here because this is my home defense setup or will be once it's uh, once I take it out and test everything, test the ammo, which I'll go over that here in a minute. Uh, and this is also a fully ambi gun. Um, you have your mag release on this side, uh, bolt release also on this side, which is pretty neat. Just bolt release, not a bolt catch. And then on the other side, your standard ping pong paddle and then a uh, mag release over here, which does work decently well. And then, so I also put on here my Trichicon RMR, which I took off my 509 for now, just to see how I like it. Uh, this is the HRS and a scalar work sleep mount. Uh, I really dig this setup. I think I'm gonna stick with this. I can't imagine this gun ever taking shots farther than 100 yards, so this three and a quarter MOA dot uh, will be just fine. Um, I kind of like the compact package and how light it is, and it kind of just fits with the PDW role um, I'm going for here. So I I do have, it comes with a 30 round P mag. Uh, 30 round 300 blackout PMAG and I'm running it with right now with my 20 round Lancer mag this is a 5.56 mag uh, and then I also picked up at aim surplus the other day which aim surplus is, is local to me I uh, try to get there when I can uh, these are Lancer 300 blackout specific mags they, they have uh, FD base plates so you can distinguish uh, what round you, you have in there, or what rounds in the magazine. Uh, it also has 300 uh, molded into the magazine, 300 blackout. So uh, I'm gonna stick with, try to stick with uh, 300 blackout specific magazines because there's some slight internal changes and, and I think spring changes to help keep reliability the best it can be. Uh, I do have some 20 round 300 blackouts coming. And as for ammo right now, uh, I have, I've ordered a few, few different kinds. Um, what I'm planning on using for the time being is gonna be this uh, Gorilla uh, 125 grain, let's see, it's a Lehigh Controlled Chaos round. Oh, excuse me, 115 grain controlled chaos uh, they call it the pig punisher which uh, I guess people would use it for hunting but uh, if you're gonna use a hunting round or if there's a hunting specific round it's gonna be good for uh, home defense self-defense also uh, I've seen some of the ballistics from this round and it's pretty de devastating and gorilla always loads a really solid round um, so that's what I'm planning to use now I'm going to try to do some testing and see how different rounds function in a gun. Uh, probably sticking with Gorilla because Big Daddy Unlimited has some pretty pretty good deals on Gorilla ammo. Uh, that's where I got, that's where I've been getting a lot of my ammo. Also have a, a bulk order coming in from Minuteman Munitions. So we'll see how that does. And uh, I guess for now, it's all I've got. Uh, probably be taking this to the range here soon and uh, do range report or roll in some range footage. I uh, think I'm gonna stick with the cherry bomb for now. I, I'm, I've been looking into Q suppressors, uh, thinking about getting one. They're pricey and they're good from my research. I uh, just don't know if it's the best bang for the buck. 
Uh, of course, this is, is pretty flashy. It looks pretty good on this setup because they have the, this, I guess, copper color and it goes through into this the um, push button for the release of the brace and also their QD point here. Uh, so yeah, I guess for now, I'm, I'm gonna keep that on there and see see about getting avail availability and Q's silencers are uh, uh, pretty low. It's pretty tough to source one, I guess. Um, and I'm trying to go through the silencer shop because that's just the easiest process for me for my first. But uh, that's all I've got today. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, can't wait to get some more uh, experience in this in this setup and hopefully, you know, bring some more content out there for Novesky products. I'd like to get into some more Novesky products, maybe a, a you know, carbine uh, 556 rifle down in the future. Uh, I'm just handling it, taking it apart, uh, cleaning it, all that. It, it, I'm super impressed. The packaging, everything it comes with, it, it just uh, makes you feel like you're, you really are getting a top quality rifle, which you are with Nebeski. And, and yeah, you're, you're spending a lot. Um, and there's people out there that, you know, roll around with their $500 ARs, which is no problem. They're awesome too. Uh, but, you know, I've, Lately, I've been looking for some of the finer things in life and, and firearms, and this is definitely one of them. And it's definitely a unicorn, at least in my opinion. Um, there's not a lot out there, and they're not easy to find. And uh, you kind of just feel like you're in this, uh, you, you know, I, I, I like guns that not a lot of people have. Uh, obviously, with my Virtus uh, full size, uh, kind of rare and not super rare, but not a lot of people have them. I don't know why I'm attracted to these types of guns, but, uh, I am, and I really enjoy it. So, uh, excuse me, stay tuned. There will be more coming. Um, got some more coming for, uh, my concealed carry setup, and then I'll, I, I'll have a bag set up for this coming too. So, um, uh, stay tuned and, and Give me a like, give me a, subs a subscription, and I'll see you next time.